Little Red Riding Hood, Part 1. Many years ago there lived a dear little girl, who was beloved by everyone who knew her, but her grandmother was so very fond of her that she never felt she could think and do enough to please this dear granddaughter, and she presented the little girl with a red silk cap, which suited her so well, that she would never wear anything else, and so was called Little Red Cap. One day Red Cap's mother said to her, Come, Red Cap, here is a nice piece of meat, and a bottle of wine take these to your grandmother, she is weak, and ailing, and they will do her good. Be there before she gets up, go quietly, and carefully. The grandmother lived far away in the wood, a long walk from the village, and as Little Red Cap came among the trees she met a wolf, but she did not know what a wicked animal it was, and so she was not at all frightened. Good morning. Little Red Cap, he said. Thank you, Mr. Wolf, said she. Where are you going so early, Little Red Cap? To my grandmother's, she answered. And what are you carrying in that basket? Some wine and meat, she replied. We baked the meat yesterday, so that grandmother, who is very weak, might have a nice strengthening meal. And where does your grandmother live? Asked the wolf. Oh, quite twenty minutes walk further in the forest. The cottage stands under three great oak trees and close by are some nut bushes, by which you will at once know it. The wolf was thinking to himself, she is a nice tender thing, and will taste better than the old woman, I must act cleverly, that I may make a meal of both. Presently he came up again to Little Red Cap, and said, Just look, at the beautiful flowers which grow around you, why do you not look about you? I believe you don't hear how sweetly the birds are singing. You walk, as if you were going to school, see how cheerful everything is about you in the forest. And Little Red Cap opened her eyes, and when she saw how the sunbeams glanced, and danced through the trees, and what bright flowers were blooming in her path, she thought, if I take my grandmother a fresh nosegay, she will be very much pleased, and it is so very early that I can. Even then, get there in good time, and running into the forest, she looked about for flowers. But when she had once begun she did not know how to leave off, and kept going deeper, and deeper amongst the trees looking for some still more beautiful flower. The wolf, however, ran straight to the house of the old grandmother, and knocked at the door. Who's there? asked the old lady. Only a little red cap bringing you some meat and wine, please open the door, answered the wolf. Lift up the latch, cried the grandmother, I am much too ill to get up myself, 